Hello again and a very, very good evening. You are, of course, watching my favourite show of the week and hopefully your favourite. It is, of course, the Planet Cruise TV show. Now, this is a show that's been running many, many years now. And every night, or every Tuesday night, I should say, we feature some of the hottest deals around. And tonight we have got six outstanding cruises. Many of them are actually all-inclusive. And we've even got a six-star cruise coming up a little bit later on. But... We are joined by a fantastic guest. He's with us right now, Justin Hazel. I see Justin. How you doing? Big smiley face tonight. I know, it's great to be back. It's, it, it, it seems such a long time. It was like two weeks ago. Two weeks, we've missed it. It's like a, the length of a cruise. We've got some stunning shows tonight, haven't we? God, we've got, well, actually, amazing offers. Now, those of you that don't know Justin, he worked on the cruise ships many, many years, didn't you? Six years, had it, snow hair, lots yeah. of bags of oh, wrinkles. Oh, he, he, <laughs> he was a naughty boy at sea, was Justin. You were. I, I, I made sure everybody enjoyed themselves. Yeah, including yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but most important, he does know an awful lot about the cruise industry. I, me personally, I've been on 22 cruises. I've been very lucky, so I can tell you a lot about the ship. So between us, hopefully we've got it covered tonight. And we've got such an amazing selection of cruises. Before we um, move on, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that was at the live cruise show on Sunday. Uh, I know you're very jealous you weren't there, Justin. Everybody said, you've got to be there. You've got to do it. And I didn't um, get a chance. I know. <laughs> But anyway, everyone, everyone missed you there, I'll tell you. But I've got some lovely pictures to share with you right now. Right? Too many names to mention, but thank you to everybody that joined us live on Sunday. Keith's looking very handsome there, Justin, isn't he? Silence. <laughs> I don't know whether, whether I'm supposed to react to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, but... Um, he's looking a bit stiff at the moment, though. He's not moving much. He's not, but... No. Um, I, tell I you, am live, you we, see. Yeah, we all have a great day. <laughs> and just, I hope you're there next year, seriously. Anyway, we'd better crack on. And yes. Just before we do, if you've never booked with Planet Cruise before... This is an amazing company, isn't it, Justin? You, the reason why you need to book with, book with Planet Cruises, apart from the stunning cruises, you've got to do it with them. And it's because they are experts in their field. And when I say experts, they are top agent with a lot of the cruise yeah. lines that we're working with. So we actually get a lot more exclusive deals, better offers, um, uh, and better rates than, than a lot of the other agents out there. And when I say agents, travel agents, uh, you know, no, no disrespect to the high street travel agent, we are bringing this to life. We're going to talk you through, because I've been there, done that, bought the T-shirt, and it doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what happens when you go cruising too much. <laughs> but huge savings tonight. And a place because I'm the biggest independent agent in the UK when it comes to cruises. So let's begin with a phenomenal deal with Cruise and Maritime. 12 night Baltics cruise starting at under £700 tonight. Um, and this is actually better than half price. The, the brochure price was actually over £1,000 more. So it is an amazing saving live this Tuesday. Uh, and it's so easy to cruise uh, with, with Cruise and Maritime because this is actually on Tilby. But before we show you the amazing itinerary, here's our lovely Glenn that was with us last week just to tell you about this fabulous ship. Named after the famous Portuguese explorer, Cruiser Maritime Voyages flagship Magellan is reputed to be the friendliest ship afloat. Sailing with just 1,250 passengers, she offers a very real sense of intimacy and a warm, personalised service in a stylish, British adult-only environment. There are 15 grades of accommodation to choose from and all come with the real star of the ship, your own cabin steward. There's something for every budget, from comfortable inside cabins to luxurious suites, which feature generous balconies, walk-in wardrobes and something everybody needs, your own jacuzzi bar. Cruise and Maritime Voyages really do encourage and welcome solo travellers. And on board Magellan, 150 cabins have been set aside for guests wishing to travel independently. The aptly named Jade Wellness Centre offers you a chance to de-stress and relax. There are hundreds of treatments to choose from including shiatsu, caviar facials and mineral mud wraps. There are three restaurants on board and all the food is freshly prepared and served with a smile. The Waldorf and Kensington are way to serve and offer scrumptious five course meals with tasty salads, hearty pastas, fresh seafood and traditional roasts on offer. Night times are awash with variety. You can relax in one of the bars and enjoy some light jazz, or maybe a classical recital, or head through to the theatre for some fabulous production shows, courtesy of the Onboard Theatre Company. There are six different bars to experience with a staggering choice of beverages, brightly coloured cocktails, award-winning beers and owls, wines from around the world, and of course, plenty of bubbly. My favourite though is here in Sinatra's, where in honour of old Blue Eyes himself, I always get the drink made my way. 
Cheers. Oh, that's our lovely uh, Glenn Wallace there on board. Uh, now, I've never, just, I've never been to the Baltics or St. Petersburg. You've been on 25 cruises. In 22. Oh, no. 22. But I've never, I've never been. I'm dying You've to. You've got to. You've got to. I mean, this is, this is a great cruise line. It's a great cruise ship. Um, one thing as well, which is really great, if, um, if you like adult-only cruising, so you don't like um, you know, cruising with a family or perhaps you, you know, you're, you're over the children. Yeah, uh, the children have grown up and you're yeah. ready for the adult yeah. cruise. So this is an adult-only cruise. Um, one of the great things about this is sailing from the UK, so you don't have to worry about your luggage allowance. Take as much as you like, guys, um, uh, and as much as you like, girls. Uh, now, our first port of call is, is a fantastic port. It's Copenhagen. Now, when you sail into Copenhagen, get up early because it's a wonderful, wonderful way of sailing in. Um, it's a little bit of a walk just outside of town, but you do get to take in one of the greatest sights, which is the Little Mermaid. It's a lovely little bronze statue, which was uh, erected in um, memory of uh, Hans Christian Andersen, of course, the 1975 film. Um, so you get to see that. You see all these wonderful coloured uh, buildings just down the road. And then when you get into the main town, it's just a completely different feel. Some fantastic shopping, great bars as well, on whether it come rain or shine. Um, we actually had one of the best days in Copenhagen when it was raining. We found this fantastic bar with these oak panelled walls and loads of tiles everywhere. It was just a great atmosphere. One thing you've got to do though, you've got to go to Tivoli Gardens. Tivoli Gardens is the biggest amusement park, got some of the oldest roller coasters there, and it's just one of those experiences you've just got to do. Um, from Copenhagen, we're going to go to Germany now. We're going to go to Berlin and Warnemunde. Now, this is the gateway. Um, to Berlin. So if you do want to go to Berlin on one of the excursions, you can book through Planet Cruise and I highly recommend it because if you get Glenn, he used to look after the tours and excursions for P&O oh, Cruises. Yes, he did, so yeah. again, another good reason why to book because we know what we're talking about. Sorry, you, you did see the little uh, the wicker huts there. One thing that's really, really unique, they go swimming here every day of the year, including Christmas Day. Are you serious? I am absolutely deadly serious. And it's got this lovely feel, you know, sort of like turn, turn of the century, sort of like you used to see, you know, ladies completely covered in their swimming costumes. Gents would come out sort of down to the knees uh, with these tops on. It, it's that, that great I tell, feel. I tell you, the buildings look fantastic as well. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. Now, that's followed by a, a lovely day at sea, and those days at sea can be fantastic on the ships. And we're making our way over to, it's Tallinn in Estonia, isn't Tallinn, it? Tallinn, Estonia. This is a fantastic port. You've just got to go and do it there. It's stunning. Now, one of the things you'll see is the castle turrets. Uh, of course, there is the church up at the top, and the square is beautiful. Um, you'll actually see the town hall in the middle of the square here. Um, I was very lucky to actually be uh, best man for one of my colleagues on the cruise yeah, ship I you saying, who, yeah. who actually married a girl from Estonia. The, uh, the bars around that area tend to be a little bit more expensive but it's great for people watching. There's the famous flower market that I always love, one of the best flower markets I've ever seen. Um, and if you do want to go up to the, uh, the old cathedral of St Mary's, um, it's a little bit of a walk up there but it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, to go up there, so um, well worth. Also, if you do like a little bit of military history, uh, this is where uh, the KGB headquarters um, were. So if you, if you want to go and see the building, you can go and do that. And there's lots of uh, antique shops uh, with militaralia. So obviously go careful what you bring back, um, but there's lots of things that you can collect over there. Now, talking of the KGB, um, we are going now to Russia. We're going to the motherland and you get chance to have an overnight on board. Now, I can't stress to you uh, enough that these are amazing. To have an overnight is a completely and, different perspective. And in St. Petersburg as well, because you, you really don't want to rush this, do you? Well, look, the Hermitage, you could probably spend three months there and still not <laughs> see everything. Yeah. So uh, you'll get to see, you know, go on a tour on, on there. Um, you can go to see the Church of Spilt Blood with the, uh, the famous uh, ruse, those beautiful ruse. Um, also, go careful with the vodka over here. Um, one thing I would say is buy only from reputable places. I'm only saying that because some of the local vodka will literally make you go blind. <laughs> so go careful on that. And if you want a true experience, just get a taxi ride. They take dollars. I highly recommend taking a postcard of the ship so they know which ship to bring you back on. Um, it's great fun. But one of the things you have to do overnight is the Russian ballet. Yeah, I'd love to do that. E even, can I just say, I mean, obviously like myself and Sean, you know, we're, we're, we, we do love the arts. Even if you're not a big sort of arty person, go and do it because it's the thing to do when you're in St. Petersburg overnight. 
Uh, and then from St. Petersburg, that does I really, really want to go there. Yeah. I, just, I, I keep saying that, I just need my holiday. I can and then, say, it's, it's not actually cold. Everybody assumes that it's going to be cold. It's actually quite hot coming And actually, day. particularly this time of year, yeah, July mm. and August. But we're making our way over to Helsinki next. Yeah, uh, off, off to Scandinavia. This is just absolutely stunning. The, um, the uh, architecture is gorgeous. Um, it's known as the daughter of the Baltic, so you get to see lots of neoclassical buildings there. Shopping's really good as well. Uh, moving on to uh, Stockholm. Um, and this, the sailing to Stockholm, um, is one of the best parts of it. Get up early because you can see all these little rocky outcrops. The captains have to manoeuvre and steer their way through these, uh, these tiny little transits. Um, it is, again, the place to go um, because the capital of Scandinavia, you've got great Viking relics there. Um, and it's got the world's first permanent ice bar. So if you've seen all these ice bars at these tourist locations, the original one was in Stockholm, and it's kept at a bar mid minus 23 all year round. Do they, uh, <laughs> do they give you coats and uh, hats and things? Yes. Yeah, good. good. Um, so then we've got a couple of nice relaxing days at sea, and then we head yeah. back to Tilbury. Uh, now, we have got an amazing, huge, ginormous saving tonight. Oh, yes. This is better than half price, so you are saving 1000 and £40 per person off the brochure price. If a couple of you are going together, you're actually saving nearly £2,100. Now, a single price on this is actually really good as well. We've got that starting at £1,059. You're getting 12 nights on board, and as Justin said, it is an adults-only cruise, and you do get that fabulous overnight on board in St. Petersburg as well. Now, we've already had some sellouts on this. I'll just show you what's available right now. We're starting off at 699 same price actually on the inside for July and August, and they're great dates for this itinerary, aren't oh, they? Definitely, really yeah. good. But my advice would be you can go for the outside for just £100 more in August. We have sold out the Junior Suite, and we have got the single available in August for just £1,059 per person. So um, a great start to the show, but I think that one's going to go very, very quickly indeed. Uh, and don't forget, it is a free phone number open until 10.30 tonight, 020-3696-9457. And every cruise has its own um, ID number, so just check those out on the screen as well. They're in the blue. I can hardly see. You know, just in laughs, because I can't really see them. But anyway, <laughs> talking of blue... We are going to be on the Blue Danube next, aren't we? Yeah, and this, this, this is with a cruise line. It's something completely different. We're talking river cruising now. Um, in the short time that I've actually been on the TV with Planet Cruise, I've seen the river side of the business yeah. just grow. And if you've done, very much like yourself, if you've done the Mediterranean, if you've done the Baltic, you've done the Caribbean, you've got to try um, a, a river cruise because it's a truly breathtaking experience. The landscape is just outside of your window. You're cruising sometimes in the morning and the afternoons. You're docking right in the towns. And with this one, uh, again, you're probably looking at the, uh, the, the screen and looking at the price and you're thinking... OK, that's a little bit more than we've just done the, the ocean cruise for. We're going to tell you why, because all the tours are in, uh, included. Uh, your beers, wines and soft drinks at your meals, that's really, all included, included as well. This, and this is on a brand new ship that is currently being built for next year. So bear in mind, this is April 2017, a brand new ship to the fleet, specifically designed for river cruising. And on top of that, there's only three cruises that are available for next year to book but it's where you're going. So the, the ship you're actually looking at right now is the five-star Jane, Jane Austen, but you'll be going on a very similar ship that's brand new. Not even, she's not even on the water yet, not, not until next year. I mean, that's exciting. But, but just look at the, the quality that you've got. And again, open up, seeing Budapest, one of the many bridges in Budapest um, is just amazing. It's one of those experiences. Again, you're only looking at around 169 passengers on board. Um, you know, and around 40 to 50 crew. So it's a very, very intimate um, family feel that, you know, you're going to get to know people, your travelling companions, and do as little or as much as you want. And, and am I right in saying every room has a river view as well? Yeah. Wow. And that's, that's one of the remarkable things in this modern day and age, especially for the price that you've got and there. And this is really luxurious. Um, so uh, the, the price on the screen is for a Riverview suite, by the way, but you can even upgrade to balconies and superior suites for just a few hundred pounds more on this one. And not only are the, the ships beautiful, brand new, say, she's going to be brand new next year. Or should I say he, because it's Mr Thomas Hardy, isn't it? Well, yeah, 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 yeah there you go. Um, <laughs> but um, you can see there just how luxurious this is going to be. And, and you were saying, Justin, to, be, to constantly have a changing view. Yeah. Beautiful. 
It's, it's one thing to be uh, at a dinner table um, in a restaurant when you're at sea, at the ocean, uh, but it very much is just lots of blue, which is yeah, quite yeah, yeah, nice. Relaxing, nice. nice and calm and tranquil. And can I just say, for, for those of you that haven't cruised before, please don't think we'll be in blasé, but when you too book a cruise of planet, you'll know exactly what we mean. Um, to actually see that, that landscape mm -hmm. just go past the window, it does feel very much like a slower pace. Yeah. When, when you're on an ocean that, cruise, really gentle. racing through the ocean to the next port, you just, let's just yeah. chill out, let's just keep cruising. Um, and a fantastic <laughs> offer tonight as well. We've, yeah. actually, we've, we've had a lot of sellouts on the single with this one, by the way. It's so just to warn you, we've already had about five dates sell out on the single price, which is really good tonight. Anyway, let's show you where you're going to be cruising. Beautiful. So it starts off with the flight to Budapest, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and we're, we're going to focus on Budapest at the end of the cruise where you get oh, a chance yes, to actually okay. stay. But your first day uh, that you get to spend on board um, is Estegom. Now, the, the beauty about this is overnight you've travelled from Budapest um, and gone upstream. Now, this is uh, Hungary's capital during medieval times um, and is internationally famed for, well, the great renaissance, the basilicas, the churches. Um, you've actually got Hungary's largest church there, uh, one of the largest altars with a wealth of gold artifacts as well so if you do like to go and see your religious relics then that's going to be perfect uh, there's also the castle too which is the seat of the government until uh, 16th century in the Ottoman invasion uh, and then you get to enjoy your first lunch on board um, now this point you can actually leave uh, the port um, and then sail up um, to your next destination uh, and again you know towns and villages are going to be on either bank you've got Slovakia on one side Hungary on the other and then you're going to go into day three. Now, remember, all of the tours are included on this, and you get fantastic commentary from your cruise director as well. So this morning, you actually get a guided tour around Slovakia's um, emerging capital city, Bratislava. Um, you've got a beautifully restored Baroque town. Uh, I mean, when you see the squares, I mean, they, they just look absolutely beautiful. Oh, very nice. Um, so uh, equally impressive as well as the fortress, uh, which, which has got the views across the, uh, the Danube. So, uh, that's definitely one to look for. Uh, in the afternoon, you actually cruise into Lower Austria, um, uh, and of course, this is where you've got lots of the vineyards and some of the finest wine producers as well. Um, and again, you know, the captain's going to be just skillfully navigating down the river um, while you enjoy the view. You do get on day three to uh, actually experience some of the locks as well. So for those of you who like the Panama Canal um, or even canal uh, locks, then uh, this is going to be perfect. Uh, day four, you're going to be into Dernstein and Melk. Uh, and well, they're principally famous for two things. Uh, one's the ice blue Baroque tower, which dominates the, uh, the river landscape. Uh, and secondly, this is obviously where Richard the Lionheart uh, was imprisoned here um, uh, during the, or, or just after the um, uh, Crusades. Um, now, after lunch, you'll actually get to see the monastery in Melk. Um, now, this is just the, the, the surrounding countryside is just breathtaking that you've got here. Um, it was originally a palace that was actually gifted to the, uh, the Benedictine order in the 11th century, um, but it's famed for a 200 metre long emperor's gallery. And you can just imagine walking up and down there for your exercise uh, after, uh, after a, a banquet. Um, so you've got really, uh, if, if you do like your medieval architecture, then that's definitely one to, uh, to uh, look forward to. Uh, and then you rejoin the ship, dinner served, uh, and then you're gonna be going upstream to your next day in Salzburg. Uh, now this is, again, another completely unique experience because the old time, it's delightful, absolutely delightful. You've got some fantastic fortresses there. Um, uh, in fact, one of them, you can see there, just dominating the skyline. Um, shopping is really good. So uh, this is the one that you perhaps you want to you want to save up. Perhaps if you want to bring back some uh, little trinkets and bits and pieces. Uh, and of course you've got the uh, the great classical renaissance of music there. So famous for uh, for Mozart. Um, so uh, amongst many others. Um, and you'll get a guided tour as well to see the principal places of interest uh, before you uh, enjoy the afternoon, um, just at your own leisure before you re rejoin the show. Some beautiful places here, aren't they? Can I just, can I just say you know you are literally docking. In these places, yeah. These are, they, there's no shuttle buses. Some of them, okay, fair enough. We've got an, another cruise a little bit later on, uh, but this you are literally straight there. Now, this is one of the days that you're going to remember, Vienna. There's going to be fine music. There's going to be palaces. There's going to be boulevards. There's going to be noble architecture. Um, it's just it's a rich tapestry from all corners of Europe, and you can see the buildings there. Um, you've got St Stephen's Cathedral. Um, you've got the uh, the museums there are exquisite. Some of them uh, are just 
well, again, very much like the Hermitage, you, you wouldn't be able to see it all in one day. Uh, you've got the Spanish Riding School, the Crown Jewels are there. Um, it's actually one of the, uh, the largest collections, I think it's the fourth largest collection in the world. Um, uh, and in the morning you'll actually get to have a tour, again included, which is a sightseeing tour that you get to see all of this. Also, uh, this is big again for music lovers, so Beethoven, Brahms, Mozart, uh, and a whole family of Strausses as well. And that is one thing that you'll actually get to enjoy as well, because in the evening, uh, the icing on the cake uh, is a musical experience like no other. They've actually arranged for a classical recital on board. Oh, wonderful. So, you know, when you're oh, actually yeah. in, the, in the, the town, when in Rome, as they say, <laughs> but, you know, oh, really I went in good. Vienna. But Budapest. Um, I've had the pleasure of actually spending a weekend here. Here's the Parliament building, um, which is on the banks. There's a, a lovely memorial as well from the Second World War. Um, I'm not going to say anything about it. Just go and find it. Outside of the Parliament steps, there's these bronze shoes. Find out what they mean and you'll be truly touched. Um, of course, bridges uh, are the most important thing in, in um, Budapest. You've got one side which is Buda, the other side which is Pest. Uh, and you've got the castle side. It's recommended, I would say, to take one of the tours or if you want to jump on one of the buses that go around and then just keep on jumping on and off. One thing that I didn't do, which you've got to do, is the wonderful food market. And um, it is literally, it's just, it puts Billingsgate to, well, well, I know that's a fish market, isn't it? But it just, it just makes uh, some of the stuff that we see here in the UK, it pells it into insignificance. Well, I think you agree, a breathtaking river cruise there, five-star luxury, and I've got to mention you've got free airport parking on this as well, so all your tours are free. Did you say drinks with all meals? Yeah, yeah soft so drinks and beers and wines. Sorry. Yeah, so all of the alcoholic drinks with your meals as well, um, and... Don't forget our price for a river suite. All the rooms are suites on board this brand new ship, the MS Thomas Hardy. They are all suites. Justin, look at these pictures. Yeah. Amazing, don't you think? I, I think I have to go oh. and experience it um, uh, and perhaps do some VT I, for you. I, I think it's a must. <laughs> I mean, that absolutely breathtaking tonight. So let's show you what's included. So first of all, as Justin mentioned, all of your shore excursions, you get a river view from every single suite. All your return flights based on London. We can always find you other flights. Just ask our call centre, ask our cruise advisors. We've got a brilliant single special starting at 1099 So we have got a single special, but they are selling very quickly. I'll show that in a second. And your overnight on board in Budapest as well. Now, the April prices on this one are outstanding. They are starting at 1099 So they are selling fast. So all the singles have gone in April, basically. Four sellouts already on these. If you are looking at a great price for a single pass passenger, I would look into the last couple of dates in October. But in terms of upgrades as well, the Riverview suites are beautiful. But the balconies are only a few hundred pounds more, and the superior suites, again, starting at 1399 But it is selling very quickly, as you can imagine. I really fancy that. I've not done a river cruise yet. I may have done a 22 ocean cruises, but I've yet to experience river cruising. But again, I don't get enough holiday, Justin. You know that. But don't look at me. I like you, boss. Hey? Well, you act <laughs> like it. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Dairy me. <mate. laughs> no. Should we swiftly move on? <laughs> I think we should, don't you? Um, now, we've actually got a, a, a great cruise next to Norwegian Cruise Line on board the Norwegian Epic. I've never been on the ship, but I've always been fascinated by her. Have you? Yeah, do you know, every, every time we used to see the ships in, in port, you would see this vibrance. Yeah. I mean, straight away, the hulls of, uh, of the Norwegian uh, ships are, are beautifully bright yeah. and effervescent. It just, it just shouts out fun uh, and indeed they look after their single uh, cruisers as well very well and it's a very contemporary and very modern style and of cruising now you'd be pleased to know well two things on this one there is a huge choice of bars and restaurants which is a good mm. thing because you've got an all-inclusive drinks package free with this tonight and the restaurants the yeah. Shanghai Chinese oh. restaurant the Brazilian steakhouse I'm there every night. We were in reading both of them. We were reading about this earlier, and, and the food and the choice of food is, is fantastic. If you've never cruised on Norwegian cru cruise lines, I've been with them twice now. They are a bit more relaxed and freestyle, so that, you know you don't have to have set dining or anything like that. But you still get great uh, waiter service as well. And um, just looking at some of the bars there.
It is, it is amazing. Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, apart from the, um, uh, the the entertainment, of course, you've got lots of the, the cinema screens. Uh, you've also got uh, a climbing wall as well. First ever abseil in at sea. Um, you've got the spider's web, which is a climbing frame. Really, really good for children as well because they've got a Wii and PlayStation zone, a karaoke zone. Why is that just for the kids? I would want to be in there. I would um, carry out. Okay. And, um, uh, and then a full team club as well. So perhaps if you're thinking about taking the grandkids away or perhaps, you know, the whole of the family, okay. it's fantastic. But the actual destinations that we're going to are yeah. brilliant. We've got the, the classic of uh, the Mediterranean, Rome. Uh, this is your embarkation port, so um, you won't get to see too much of it, but it will be a, a fantastic way to start your cruise. First day off, though, is uh, in Florence and Pisa, so you'll get to uh, dock in Livorno. You'll either get to go to uh, the Leaning Tower uh, and go and get your famous pictures done there, or if you want to go to um, Florence, then go to see the Ponte Vecchio Bridge and go and see David. But there's about six of them. He's the famous statue, um, so uh, you'll probably see him about. And and actually, if you don't fancy any of that, maybe you've done it before, uh, Luca is a lovely... Have you been to Luca? No. Oh, it's been lovely. About, it's about 45 minutes away, I think. But, yeah, it's great. Yeah, actually, you yeah. learn something new every day. I didn't, I'd never heard of it until I did the cruise. And, yeah, fantastic. There you go. Find out all these little things, jot them down and share them. Uh, then we're going from Florence to, to one of my favourite places, the south of France. We're talking the Côte d'Azur. We are talking the capital of glamour. Uh, when I say glamour, it may be boulevards lined with palm trees, but don't think of L.A. Uh, and that brashness. No, we're talking... Yeah. True class and glamour uh, of the 50s and the 60s, Cannes, France. Um, it's obviously famous for its festival in May, but it is a beautiful place to be. There's nothing else really um, you have I, to say about I it. I enjoyed just people watching and wandering along. Mm. I really did. Yeah, I, I mean, I expect to pay a little bit more for some of the drinks, especially if you're going onto the beach because you can get waiter service at your sunbed. Um, but, you know, it's, the, it's where you're going to see the celebrities, it's where you're going to see the people that need to be seen. Anyway, we're off to Marseille now, and of course, if you do like your maritime history, uh, then this is uh, one of the strongholds of France. It's got a really charming little harbour, as you can see there. Um, and again, just go and explore, have a lovely lunch, and enjoy the French cuisine. Then we're going to one of my favourite places, Barcelona. Um, it's just, again, you can see here um, two of the, the greatest hotels. You've got the Hotel Arts, just to the left-hand side. And if you look back from that, um, you've got the W, which if, if you're obviously you're not going to be staying there, go in there for a drink. You've got all the Gaudi structures as well. Uh, so if you like your architecture, you've got the famous Sagrada Familia, which is the cathedral that's never been finished. You've got La Ramblas, which is like the South Bank, but a lot better. You've got your street performers and Sangria. If you like your football, you've got the New Camp. If you like your Formula One, you can go down to the uh, Circuit of Catalonia as well. And if you do get a chance for a, a lunch, if you just if you've done Barcelona, you don't want to do shopping, because I will warn you, the shopping is absolutely amazing. Um, you go to uh, a place called Boca Grande, and they have got the best restaurant. They do Wagyu beef, but oh, all yes, I will you say, this, yeah, yeah, all I will say is it ain't cheap, but boy. Is it worth it? Uh, then from Barcelona, we've got a relaxing day at sea before we go into Naples. I'm just going to list the places that you can go into Naples. You can go to Capri, you can go to the Amalfi Coast, you can go to Mount Vesuvius, you can go to Pompeii, and you can go to Herculania. That's why you need to book your tours early with Planet Cruise. Then finally, you come back into Rome. Um, if you do want to ask your operator when you speak to one of our guys and girls, see whether you can stay over and then you can get to see some of that fantastic capital. Well, let's just remind you, the, the ship is fantastic. So it's all, I've, I've, I've stood at the ship many times. Uh, you're going to get a free upgrade tonight to All Inclusive. Now, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to glamorise drink packages too much, but they do save you an awful lot of money. It's not just about alcohol as well. We'll show you exactly what's included in a second. Uh, free Wi-Fi. If you go for the balcony, if I remember rightly, the balcony wasn't much more. I think the balcony is 899. It is. Uh, you will get free Wi-Fi. Return flights based on London Gatwick. But as ever, we can find your flights from most UK airports. Just ask the, uh, the cruise consultants as you give us a call tonight. Now, I mentioned the free drinks. Uh, let's just show you. That means spirits and cocktails, wine by the glass, bottled all draft beers and fountain soda and juice as well. So I think it's a brilliant deal, don't you? Really good. I think the next one's even better. <laughs> oh, come we, on. we, we have got a show of it's, stunning deals that you've just got to do all uh, of yeah. them. I, I've, I've got to say, um, I, when I got to meet lots of our, our, our lovely viewers on Sunday, 
you know, a lot did say every show they always want to book at least one of, one of the cruises, sometimes all of them. Save but yourself, we've got a Fortnum and Mason uh, hamper coming up later. We have, and a, a six-star cruise. However, uh, a couple of weeks ago we featured Thompson, well, we've been featuring quite a lot recently, mm. and they have been top sellers. This one, it's 40 nights, it's all-inclusive, so 40 nights all-inclusive. 14, two 14, weeks. 14, two weeks. You've got an outside as well, and it's 779. Let's just talk about Thompson, though. This Hang on, is let's the... just talk about 779 for oh, two okay. weeks, and all inclusive. What's that, something like, it must be £380 a week, is it? Well, do you know, we'll work, we'll, we'll work it out mathematically in our heads. £55 a day, I've just no. been told. Yeah, I hate to say it, viewers, um, it, it wasn't the mathematical genius, Justin. Uh, it was one of our producers. <laughs> uh, but no, it's a great family feel with Thompson. The ships, they're all classic cruise lines, um, which they've bought and then they've refurbished. And it's, it's got that, that great feel that you go back and you feel as if you, you've, you've never left. Um, you've got all your traditional cruise sports, like your deck quotes and your shuffleboard. You've got your pampering sessions at the salon. Uh, if you want to go to perhaps, uh, you know, have a massage, a bit of retail therapy as well. Um, it's got it all. And I'll tell you what, if you've, if you've been watching the show for a while and you haven't booked a cruise, do this one. I'd say this is this is a new cruiser's cruise. This would be perfect. I, I will say that just knowing the demand whenever we have Thompson Cruises, particularly the, the repositioning ones, you do get, have to get in quick. And all-inclusive, I mean, for 40 nights, which is ridiculous value. What a great time to go. So you know what it gets? I, I shouldn't say this, but I, I'm not a mad fan of the run-up to Christmas. The last couple of weeks before Christmas can be a bit hectic in the high yeah. street, can't they? You can never find yeah. a place to park, get away for a couple of weeks, get a great time and come back nice and relaxed. Um, only one date on this one, say, is a repositioning cruise, so obviously only, only so much availability. But what great places you get to see, don't you? Yeah, uh, we are talking about, uh, uh, again, a breathtaking part of the world that to get to travel this way, instead of flying out and staying in one hotel in one location, you're actually yeah. getting to see multiple locations. I, I've got to say, I... You know, although I've done the, the, the occasional land holiday in the last several years, I find them really boring. So I sat in one hotel by the pool. What do you do? You just, you know, you just lie there, don't you? And burn. Well, I do. You probably tan, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> I just lie there and frazzle and get bored. But on a cruise, there's always something to And you get to see so many different places. Anyway, let's have a look. It starts off with a flight. And actually, the great thing is, I should mention this straight away, we've got flights from Birmingham or Glasgow but we've had got lots uh, of others available as well. But Glasgow or Birmingham are included in the price on the screen. Where are we flying to then, Justin? We're flying to Aquaba. We're going to Jordan, first of all. Um, this is a great holiday des uh, destination. Great for water sports. You've got some of the fantastic uh, forts there as well. And beaches, just look at that. It, it's got that, that strange sort of desert-like quality, but you just want to just sit there and enjoy the views. Um, some of it, it, it truly is, is breathtaking. Then you've got um, some relaxing days at sea, and this is when you can do that thing. Yeah, where you can sit, you can enjoy it. And can I just say, you've got to remember, we're very close to the shoreline. So if you like transiting, um, like the Inside Passage, or perhaps the Suez Canal, yeah, or something like that, there is something always now, to see. Now, if you're worried about spending a fortune on those, those days at sea, don't, because, as we mentioned, it's all-inclusive. It's not being funny, you know, you might have a few extra drinks on those days, doesn't matter, does it? Look, the, coming from somebody that spent six years working on a cruise line, <laughs> yeah, you um, know. the thing that you want the most working on a cruise line is a lion, okay? But I just realised that it's not just the staff that need the lion, it's the passengers. There's so much, if, you know, viewers, if you've been on a cruise, you're like, oh, we've got to get up, we've got to get up. A day at sea, you don't have to get up. Get up when you want, put the do not yeah. disturb on, um, you know, have breakfast in bed, perhaps, you know, go out on the promenade deck, fall asleep, get up, miss dinner, and, who cares? And, and top up your tan on those days at Definitely. sea. Definitely. But we're making our way over to Muscat, aren't we? Yeah, and again, this is this is a great opportunity because we're overnight on board. This is the Omani capital, um, and this is really the sort of epicentre of the Arabic world. You've got the Royal Palace, um, you've got the Grand Mosque, you've got some fantastic forts there as well, uh, and you've also got the Matrasouk as well. So if you like a little bit of retail therapy, uh, then you've got to go here. Um, but the, the cuisine would just be amazing. Um, you've got to try it. Uh, you know, that's one thing that cruising taught me. I used to be a really, really picky eater. Did really, you? really fussy. Um, you know, wouldn't eat this, wouldn't eat that, had to have ketchup with it. My mum's watching at home now going, he was, he was. Yeah. 
I went cruising and my palate completely changed. Uh, anyway, uh, then we're going to go into Khor Al Fakan, uh, and this is again in Oman. Um, one thing I've got to say here: go on a boat tour. Um, because they do some fantastic traditional boat tours. Um, so you can go out on some of the, like, like when you go to uh, like Shanghai or Singapore, you see the old junkers, the Chinese junkers, you get to see um, and get to sail on some of the, uh, the authentic uh, boats of the region Ooh, as well. That. That's my sort of thing. Definitely. Then we're off to Dubai. I mean, this is, again, where Vegas was, was uh, oh sorry, we're, uh, in fact, no, we're, got, we're not going to Dubai, we've got Well, we are, but not yet. Yeah. Kassam, I'm just looking Don't at Dubai. Don't cut my cruise short, Justin. <laughs> Don't cut it short. I want to enjoy every night. I've got 14, so yeah. So Take a go. look at Kassam. <laughs> this, it's like a film set, isn't it? This is this is where the Bedouins are. This is where you've got villages. The oasis out in the middle of the desert. Um, very much a small fishing village. Uh, and some fantastic forts and castles as well. So uh, plenty to see and do there. Good. Now, I've enjoyed that day. Where are then we going, then we're going to Dubai. To Dubai. Uh, no, Dubai. You think of Vegas. It was built in the desert. This is one of the richest pl places on the planet. When you think about the wealth that is here, it is just eye-watering. Um, you've got the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building there, which is really the ultimate symbol. You've got some fantastic museums. Of course, you've got the iconic Palm Islands as well. I, I, want, I just want to go up and get a helicopter ride and just go over the Palm Islands. So do that. Uh, shopping, you've got traditional souks, but you've also got the Mall of the Emirates and the glamorous Dubai Mall. Uh, that's actually at the, at the bottom of the Burj Khalifa. Um, anything and anything is possible there. Um, if you want to go on a, a safari, if you want to go sand dune, if you want to go uh, horse racing, it's just one of those places that you think, hang on, I'm in the middle of the desert. It can be done. But if you do go to these malls, um, yeah, <laughs> leave your credit card on board the ship. You can have some great fun. And all I'd say is, if you're traveling that far, buy something nice to remind yourself of it and bring it back because you'll always remember where you got it from. Um, you get the overnight on board, which to see the skyline of Dubai at night, I, do you know what, if, if you get a chance to see the Burj Khalifa, I'll wait, wait to do it at night. Well, I've got to say, everyone that I know that's, that's been to Dubai has said such great things. So let's, and again, let's remind you of the outstanding value. I don't know how we do it, I really don't, because this is including flights, it's 779, so you're going to get tonight, live with Planet Cruise, a free upgrade to an all-inclusive cruise. Two weeks, that's, that's, that means a lot. And an upgrade from inside to outside, it's going to have that lovely, of course, view of the world as you cruise by. Return flights, now they're based on Birmingham or Glasgow, but we can also find your flights from most selected UK airports, just for a small supplement, and also all your tips and service charges are included as well. So, I, I honestly think in the, in the, I don't know, eight years since we've been broadcasting with Planet Cruise, 779 is amazing for that one. Uh, now, um, we've got a picture of a very important lady because she's the MD of Planet Cruise. <laughs> Hang on, just see. Yes, we're set up right here, she is. But um, this is our lovely Simone Clark. But she's actually been on board the, the latest ship, hasn't she, with Thompson, just recently? Yeah, and do you know what? If you get a chance to uh, have a look at this, indeed, no doubt, we will be featuring some of the, uh, the deals on this yeah. ship because um, for uh, that Thompson market, this is going to be a big, wow. big addition to the fleet. Um, and actually, I know when Simone was on board, she did a little bit of filming as well. And if you go onto Planet Cruise's website, there's a link to their, their, their YouTube, and you have to get to see some of the footage as well. So uh, thank you for that. It looks amazing. Thank you, Simone, for that picture. Right. OK. Right, Justin, you need to smarten up. i got no problem doing that. <laughs> Oh, we got, got a six-star cruise next. Actually, the great thing with six-star cruises, some people think that it's all formality. It's not like that at all, actually. It really isn't. At the end of the day, it's, it's, the, it's the service that you actually get. It's the quality. I think to, to tee that up, everybody that's actually booking a cruise um, on this particular uh, cruise line tonight and it's is going to get... Well, it's with Regent Seven Seas and they are spectacular. But you all get, if you book tonight, something... Fortnum and Mason. Ooh. Champagne. You know, and I, chocolates. I, I'm not being funny, but I, ne I, I nearly bought one of these for, for a gift um, recently, but they were very expensive. <laughs> yeah, and, ju and just think, yeah. you know, if you're booking this with Region on yeah. this cruise, yeah, just this cruise there, tonight, yeah, 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 it's just this one, um, then that is just going to set things up yeah. for the sorts of, of things you're going to be able to look forward wow. to. 
if you're thinking that you've got a big uh, anniversary or a birthday or you know you know what we need to treat ourselves uh, this is the one to do or maybe you've done the the four star cruises and you've also done the five now and you you're looking for that next level this is it and regent they have all of the excursions included they're all inclusive as well let's give you a taster again these are definitely on my wish list so let's have a little look at the world of uh, regent seven seas so we talk about impeccable service and food yeah. with six star impeccable all all sweet all balcony accommodation the space per guest ratio is one of the highest at sea when you see that that champagne glass um, that's just the sort of taste uh, now we look get. now we looked at the, the room that you'll get you're actually getting a suite tonight a yeah. crunchy edge suite yeah big, it's, isn't a, it? it's a shame we couldn't show you that because when, when you actually see um, actually we've got the image oh, later. we've got yeah, it yeah. Oh, well, we'll, we'll yeah. have a look at it let's bit just later. enjoy look the food, food first. Though. exactly and the destinations that you're going to go to, because she's a smaller ship, you know, you're looking at a ship that's only 46,000 tons, you've got just over 700 people on board. You can get in to those remote locations that the larger, brasher, bigger ships, because tends, tends to be, I, you know, I hate to say, we always have a little bit of a joke that I'm sort of like, you know, the, the rough chap that knows where all the bars and restaurants are. Um, but actually, um, it's, it's chalk and cheese. You see the big cruise lines. Everybody's party, party, party. Everybody comes through. And you're like, oh, please don't. It's, it's off the beaten track. It's just oh. drawing up. Look at that elegance that you've got. And, and I don't mind telling you, we, we don't feature region all the time. We wait until there's a spectacular Do you deal. I think this is the third, only the third time in my time with Planet here that I've ever featured one of these yeah. cruises. I will let you know that we had a six-star cruise Few weeks ago and it's actually the top seller so i know there's a lot of you out there that are looking for six star when it's the right price and this is time and everything is included as well it's mm. spectacular and we will show you that you are getting a, a concierge suite tonight just when i looked earlier over 300 square foot was it and yep. a huge balcony was it a 50 foot balcony 50 foot imagine balcony Imagine, seriously, a 50 foot balcony. You, you're not sharing it with next door or anything like that. I'm sure it's a 50 just... foot, honestly, they're huge, you know, far bigger rooms you can ever imagine because it is a concierge suite. Anyway, let's, uh, well, we start from Southampton, so nice and, uh, and easy. You'll have enjoyed your, I'm sure you've enjoyed your champagne and chocolates at home. Um, and we're making our way over to Bordeaux, aren't we? Well, this is, again, a really unique itinerary. You don't get a chance to do these ports that often Bordeaux an overnight on board as well um, you've got wine tours you can go to, to chateaus um, there's a part of Bordeaux called the Golden Triangle which is three streets that are all pedestrianized uh, they're great for shopping uh, you've got stunning churches some of them dating back to the 12th century uh, and places to definitely um, see and be seen as well um, is uh, the Grand Theatre and the Hotel, Hotel de Ville um, you've just got to go there so bear in mind you've got overnight and you've got the day after to really explore um, this great location. Um, then we're going to go to Le Verdon. Um, again, staying in France, this is on, uh, uh, this is on the Gironde Estuary. You've got the Atlantic beaches. Look at the windswept dunes there. You've got beautiful lighthouses as well. I believe that's the Cordon, is that the, yeah, the Cordon um, Lighthouse. Um, and again, this is a great place to go to vineyards for wine tours. Um, then we're off to Bilbao. Now, Again, this is Basque French country, so still does feel like a completely different country because um, you've got that sort of Spanish flavour starting to come through. You've got the Guggenheim Museum in Balbao as well, um, uh, built by the famous architect, um, and it's built of titanium, glass, and limestone. So, uh, you know, if you do love um, your artwork, then you'll love that. But you've got the old quarter as well, which is medieval. I was going to say, if you don't like your artwork, so many people say it's just such a fascinating museum yeah. spectacular where's next then justin well do you know what we've got some fantastic oh, locations yeah I, I, the flower dot I, I actually and there's the guggenheim museum as well now we're off to la coronia now one of my favorite things in la corona is the the torre de hercules and this is a 2000 year old uh, lighthouse i don't know what, what it is about these these lighthouses oh, this yeah, cruise yeah, I know it's um, <laughs> but uh, yeah 2000 years old uh, and still standing and still working today as well so uh, something and the, act, the actual old town great fishing ports a so great seafood uh, as well on to my next port which i absolutely adore it's one of my favorite places um we're off to portugal and this is just the again the first 
of my two favourites. We've got Porto. Um, so you've got, this is the second largest city after Lisbon, which we're going to afterwards. It's again, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, you've got some fantastic churches there. There's a really famous bookshop uh, as well uh, that dates back to 1886, so you want to go there. Um, and again, this is the place where you want to bring back a good bottle of port because it's quite literally the place that named the drink. But we're off to Lisbon. And Lisbon is, well, when you sail into Lisbon, you've got the shoreline, you've got the 25th of April bridge, looks like the San Francisco bridge. Um, at the other side, where this, this picture is actually looking from, you've got the Christ the Redeemer statue, very much like Brazil, but in Portugal. The trams there that you've got, you've got to go on a tram ride, uh, you've got to have chicken and chips, uh, and you've got to walk down the shoreline, um, you'll walk underneath the bridge, past the Monument of Discoveries, which is a tribute to all of the famous explorers that left Portugal, and then down to the Belém Tower. It looks like a little chess piece. Um, yeah, it's it does, well worth it? going down there, and it is really that bright and white. It's looks fantastic. Like the rook, doesn't it? Then one. we're off to Cadiz, we're off to Seville, so, I mean, let's just set Sherry straight away. This is, this is where you want it, and your oranges as well. Um, one thing that I love about this province as well um, is that the Sherry Bodegas and the Royal Andalusian School of Equestrian, uh, Equestrian Art. So uh, yeah, if you get a chance and to see, uh, see and do that, it's going to be great. There you got a nice relaxing day seeing there say, into Barcelona. Just enjoy your concierge suite and your last day on your uh, six-star ship, of course, with Regent Seven Seas. But we are back to Barcelona, finally, and you disembark and fly home. If you do want extra nights in Barcelona, we, as ever, with Planet Cruise, we can always arrange those for you. Now, I, I really want to have a look at this stunning six-star ship. Remember, all-inclusive. Uh, you've got all of, uh, say, your... Um, you, in fact, 44 excursions to choose from as well. But look at this. I yeah. mean, opulence, decadence, six star. I mean, imagine what you'd pay for a six star hotel just for one night in London, and yet run here. Well, no, what, what would a four or a five star be? Well, that's 150, true. 200 pounds? I, I, I don't know. Mm. You know, it depends on where you want to go and stay. But if you break that down, your food, your entertainment, your shore excursions. I mean, if you wanted to go to a London attraction or a Manchester attraction or somewhere in the UK, how much is it for entry for two people? And remember, you actually get a concierge suite for this price. Not just a veranda, which are lovely, you are going to get a concierge suite that's far, that's bigger, and it's got that huge balcony. This is it, actually. Yeah, we've got a picture. That was look, it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Look at the size. You've got the balcony out, out there, over 300 square feet. Look at the size of the bed. It's got three pillows. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, do, do you know what? Can I, can I viewers? We were debating this earlier on. Sean has to go on Regent when we have our next location uh, filming day. And um, I'm going to have to go on a river cruise. So yeah, well, we've good. just decided. Yeah. Um, so well, yeah. there we go. I, I do lo love the look of this. Uh, do you know what? I actually went to a presentation with Regent a few years ago. And when you break down what they include, it actually works out phenomenal value. Because you've got yeah. the country edge suite tonight with that big balcony, loads more space. You get three short excursions. There are actually 44 different ones to choose from. Uh, if you go for the penthouse, you've got unlimited Wi-Fi and business class flights. And those flights are based on London as well. And again, let's just show you what's included. I'll quickly uh, run through this. With Regent, you get unlimited beverages and that includes fine wines and premium spirits as well you've got free open bars and lounges plus uh, you've actually got your mini bar in your suite replenished daily that's included uh, specialty restaurants they're included uh, Wi-Fi throughout the ship 24 room service and unlimited shopping excursions oh and prepaid gratuities everything there can just I just say we, we were talking Amazing. about cruises earlier on and you said that you had to pay for it was a, a Wi-Fi package for a week I, I think it was 10 nights but it was 150 pounds it worked so out. 10 nights 150 pounds mm. um, and that that's included as well yeah. I mean it, it, it's 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 the way to cruise I know can you see why we like that one yeah thoughts so. um it will go fast how many passengers just in did you say about uh, 700 700 something yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, I've got to move on because we're going to finish with a cracker from MSC on board the Divina. And without further ado, here is how Keith was on board, wasn't it? Yeah, here's Keith to tell you more. Inspired by Sophia Laurent, MSC Divina has the timeless elegance and class of the great ocean liners of the past and the style and sophistication of a well-cut Italian suit. I must admit, she's one of the most visually stunning ships I've ever had the pleasure to sail on.
MSC Davina is a true water wonderland with five separate swimming pools on board. One's indoor with a retractable roof, there's three outdoor pools, a bevy of hot tubs, and then there's this utterly unique infinity pool. I've got to admit, I never thought I'd see this on a cruise ship. There's a great selection of bars on board, from the healthy smoothies and freshly blended juices to the vitamin bar, which is located in the spa, to the alfresco poolside Poseidon bar, where a cheeky pina colada is simply a must. And make sure you spend a few hours soaking up the lively music and great cocktails of the Golden Jazz Bar. Best of all, though, there's an extensive international wine list and great freshly ground coffee available all over the ship. Now, there are eight different restaurants for you to enjoy, from the fabulous American-style finger food in the informal sports bar to the mouth-watering, authentic Neapolitan pizza of La Cantina de la Boca. Now, everyone should make time to visit Italy and savour the vibrant flavours and sumptuous textures that have made Italian cuisine one of the best-loved and healthiest in the entire world. And if you want to dine with a view, then look no further than this place, the Galaxy Restaurant, where the lobster, bubbles and live music will make for a perfect night. As the sun slips below the horizon, it's MSC Showtime here in the stunning Pantheon Theatre, featuring a tremendous variety of fresh and original shows and performances. Every night, this stage sparkles with singers, dancers, acrobats and artists from every corner of the world. The beautiful design of MSC Davina continues into the cabins. And whatever you choose, you'll love the spacious designer decor. The widescreen satellite TVs with interactive home entertainment systems. The spacious wardrobes, the powerful showers and the well-stocked minibar. MSC, they are known for their opulent ships. And I'm looking there, not just a beautiful ship, you're going to get a balcony for under £1,100 on this one. Yeah. A balcony. Yeah, and it's deposit only as yeah. well. So if you're thinking about budgeting for mm. later on, uh, then it's going to be we, perfect. We only have one date, though, uh, I believe, for the balcony. The yep. 6th of December now. That is it. Yeah, yep. Christmas it. cruise. Uh, so, let's... Uh, well, we've, we'll fly you to Miami to start with. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm Miami, baby. Uh, we've got two relaxing days at sea to get used to that ship, and she is a beauty. Then we're into Cartagena, Colombia, this is the famous old city. This is the land of El Dorado. And you've got this real Spanish flair that goes through uh, Cartagena. So well-constructed fortifications uh, and some fantastic structures as well. Then we're going off to Aruba, the first part of the ABC Islands, right down at the bottom of the Caribbean. All I'd say is go snorkeling or dive in here. If you've never done a dive, do a tri-dive here. Um, it's got a really, really laid back. I know it's the Caribbean, but they're really, really laid back. There's that Dutch influence. Uh, it's great fun. Then we're off to Curacao. Very, very bright and colourful. There's a famous bridge uh, that you walk across into town. Just before the bridge, there's a little cruise terminal. Um, and please do go and let me go. Uh, let me know um, if. <laughs> let, let me go. You go. Let me go. Just um, you can I want go. to go and see whether the parrot's still there. There's a parrot there that's uh, called Coco. He was there 10 years ago and they yeah. live for He remembers you. It does, does he? Yeah, he remembers you. Yeah. Squawking. Right? Um, anyway, uh, great, great, uh, great food there as well. Go to Governor Grill and you can do a little buggy tour as well. Uh, then we've got a relaxing day at sea and then we're into Grand Turk. This is your relax, chill out day, do not. Um, if, you, if you do feel a little bit active, then uh, you can get up off of your sun lounger um, and perhaps go snorkeling, swimming, uh, get on one of the little kayaks uh, or, or uh, perhaps on one of those um, uh, pedalos as well. Um, then a nice relaxing day at sea and then into the Bahamas. Beaches are simply stunning. I have put that there, look. I'm not lying. I'll put it on my notes. Beaches are stunning. Um, and of course you can go and see some of the famous hotels as well. See some of the, uh, the famous locations as well. Feel like James Bond. <laughs> or me, Brooke Bond. <laughs> and, then, and then after your, your fabulous day in Bahamas, you were uh, back to Miami where you disembark and you fly back, of course, to London. Uh, we always say if you get a seven night Caribbean cruise, around about £1,000, fantastic. Uh, this is a ten night and it's a balcony as well. It's not the inside, it's a balcony. Uh, just to remind you what's included there, so a free upgrade to a balcony and you also get return flights and a deposit only as well. The balcony price starting at £1,099. So uh, do give us a call on that one. 020-3696-9457. But...
just at the end of the show. I know, it's ridiculous. It's gone. So here's a quick recap of everything that we have seen on the show live this Tuesday evening with uh, Planet Cruise. We started off with a big saving, actually, Cruise and Maritime. Uh, have a look there. You are saving a massive £1,040 off the brochure price. This is starting at 699 And the single there, available for only 1050 Now, that's lovely, isn't it? It's that 12-night Baltic cruise uh, on that adult-only ship. Then we have that beautiful river cruise on there. A brand-new ship. She's not, even been, she's not even on the waters yet. She will be next year. And it is the MS Thomas Hardy. Uh, Five-star luxury on this one. Uh, beautiful... Uh, Suites as well. All the suites have river views, of course. And with this one, all of your shore excursions are included as well. The single price on that one also starts at just £1,099. You get that overnight on board in Budapest. We then moved on to Norwegian Cruise Lines on board, uh, a ship that I've always wanted to be on, the Norwegian Epic. I've seen the lows in ports, but this is, uh, first of all, uh, an upgrade to all inclusive at 649. So that means all your drinks. You get Wi-Fi included if you book a balcony. The balcony, I believe, started at 899 on this one and all of your return flights. We can also find your flights from other UK airports as well. Thompson, we're next on board the Thompson Celebration. Brilliant 14-night, all-inclusive. You're going to get some great weather, I thought, this time of year in December and only deposit tonight. I will let you know, Thompson, do sell very well, so if you want that one, Give us a call tonight if you can. Phone lines open until 10.30. And that starts at 7.79 for an outside. And then a 10-night... This was amazing for Regent. It really was. Regent Seven Seas. A 10-night all-inclusive. Six-star. You get free upgrade. Now, veranda's lovely. You get a concierge suite. You saw that. Big room over 300 square foot. Free shore excursions. Four to four to choose from. And you'll even get unlimited Wi-Fi and business cost flights if you go for the penthouse as well. And then, last but by no means least, we finished with a 10-night Caribbean cruise from Miami. I love um, cruising out of Miami. Fantastic experience. You get an upgrade from an inside to a balcony or your return flights and only a deposit needed tonight. Can I just say a massive thank you to Justin. Enjoyed that. Yeah, and you know, that, that last cruise, that's the one that I would actually pick out of all of them. A big thank uh, you to you as well, because I know it's been a long day for you, but also, we have a big thank you as that, well. It's not been that long. <laughs> it's been a big thank you to somebody who's, who's going to be leaving us. Um, we've got somebody who always helps us out with this. Is one of our colleagues oh, from no. Planet Cruise. A big, big thank you to, to Nikki. You're going to be you're going to be sorely missed, and I sincerely mean it. And I'm Cheap, a bit of a I joker, know, but, but going to miss you. We love it a bit, but thank you, Nikki, for all the uh, years you've been looking after us. Yeah, I'll see you again next week. Then. Yeah, we do we'll, it all again. We will do it all again. Sounds next week. good. <laughs> um, massive thank you to everyone that's uh, booked a cruise tonight. Don't. Don't let life pass you by without doing cruising because they are fantastic experiences. Justin, see you next week. Stunning shows always. And uh, that's it from Planet Cruise. We'll see you soon. Take care.